guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Sarah Mitchell, and today we are going to go toy hunting. Um, I just recently got a new job, and it is in a new county from where I live. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I noticed while I was starting to like travel there that there are some new targets that I've never been to. Um, there's a few other comic stores, and uh, a store called BAM. Uh, I'm not really familiar with it. It's called Books A Million. Uh, people have said in, in my posts in the past that it's a pretty good spot sometimes to find NECA. So I saw one yesterday uh, on my way there. So I think I'm going to try to stop there today and check it out. Uh, I, someone said they found the Pan's Labyrinth uh, Pale Man NECA there. So that's something I haven't even really seen in other stores. So uh, if that's true, uh, that'd be a cool spot to start hunting as well. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go. I have to go head to work now. Uh, for a little bit, but then after that, uh, I'm going to go toy hunt for a little bit in this new area. So uh, I figured I'd take you guys along with me today, and we'll check out some new spots and a new target, which I'm always excited about. Maybe they have some good uh, Migos in. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So it should be a quick little toy hunt. I'll probably hit up two or three stores uh, just for today, but uh, I wanted to take you guys with me. So let's not waste any time. Let's get going. All right, guys, we are at a new comics shop here in the town where I'm working now. Uh, it's actually the same company as the one that I go to in my hometown where I'm at. Um, they have a second location and it just happens to be out here. So this is the first time I've actually been here. Uh, so I'm hoping to see if they have a lot of the same cool stuff that they have at the other location that we always go to. Um, I think this one's a little bit more comic book driven than collectible driven, like the one in Lancaster, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to try to film in here. I've never again been here, so I don't know how they feel about filming in here or not. If I'm able to, I will get some shots for you. Uh, but let's take a look. Okay. So we are in the comic store now. They said it was fine that I filmed. So I'm just going to give you guys a peek. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Um, tons of comic books as you guys can see. But I'll just give you a little, a little peek at the store. Some of the cool stuff we see. It's the Terminators. Yeah. Straight things. Oh, is that why that was out? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's always cool to find another spot to toy hunt. <clears throat> there's also a really cool um, in the by the front door. There's like a loose action figure area. Um, it should be good to find like, stuff for future projects. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. So we'll just do a little tour here. Loose toys. So guys are gonna have to let me know if you see anything that I miss. Looks like there's a lot of kits. to pick up paint. They have a good Citadel paint. It's good to know. Need any NECA? Looking though. All right. If I see anything else, I'll turn the camera back on. 
All right, guys. Well, honestly, not much in there. It seemed like uh, this location is very like heavy on the like Dungeons and Dragons and like paint sets and stuff like that for that type of thing. Uh, like model building, it seemed like uh, with all the paints in there. Uh, so it seemed like more of a, a, a true comics shop than a collectible store uh, in there. I didn't actually see anything that was horror uh, except for a couple Walking Dead figures, but that was pretty much it. Uh, so it's good to know though, that this is here. Uh, su like I said, super close to my new job. So, uh, it's going to be nice to know that if I need paint or something like that, I can easily come in here quickly on the way home, uh, for that type of stuff. Um, but as far as like the collectibles that I'm t typically after, um, it, it didn't seem like there's a, a lot in there for me. Um, so I am going to go to the other comic store in Lancaster because there is a piece I'm looking at. Um, I'm looking to pick up maybe two or three model kits, uh, some of the re-released of the Auroras. Um, I'm interested in some of the Illuminators. Um, I think they, I think that was Morbius that did that. I forget. I'll have to look, but, um, and there's a, there's a piece that I'm interested in over there as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to stop at the target here, uh, where I'm at now. Uh, because it's back further. <laughs> I actually already passed it. I didn't realize it. Um, so I will go to the Target uh, in my hometown. Uh, and I also check out the comics uh, shop there and see what they have if anything new came in. So I will get back to you guys when we get closer. About to cross the uh, Susquehanna River. If you're from this part of the, uh, the state. Bridge, you guys can see. Huge, huge river. <laughs> That's the original bridge that uh, burned down. Uh, I forget, I think it was like the early 1900s. exactly how it happened. I need to brush up on my history, but uh, yeah, that's the Susquehanna River. All right, guys, so we're in the comics shop and check out what they got in. That's really cool. Chest burster. They also got, it looks like a dog alien back there as well. Um, that one's definitely a thinker. I like that. I think that's Sideshow. I'm not exactly sure. Um, let's take a peek and see what came in this week. There's a Savage World Mikey. Um, maybe I'll pick that up. I haven't seen more of the uh, um, X and Jackson Migos around, so. Now, glow in the dark. Yeah, that's cool. Another castle freak. I don't know if this is one of the one of the variants or not. I don't think so. Silent Screamers. Let's go. Ten bucks. Pretty cool. <clears throat> no, I don't think they have. Oh, they do still have the Evil Dead too. Um, this is the 
Uh, Mezco 112. I might pick that up today. I was thinking about that one last last week. Hmm. Got some NECA in. I think we have all these. Or no, I don't have this one. So. Yep, that's the one I need. I was also looking at that, uh, it's like an old, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, um, like candy bucket for Halloween. It'd be a cool little piece to have. Just something else from Creature. <clears throat> Ooh, there's the burn Chucky. That's cool. I might have to grab that too. I do have the other one. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of peeking around. Um, look at some of the. Uh, here, I'll come. I'll show you what I'm looking at here. <clears throat> so I really want that Bella Lugosi kit. I think I'm going to start getting more into these and painting again. But I'm interested in that. Um, a Roswell alien would be cool. Um, where's the other one? I think it was the Aurora remake. It was the Illuminators. I don't see any right now. But there's a ton of stuff, so I'm just gonna have to peek through. But I'll get back to you guys when I get in the car. Welcome back, I'm here in the car now. And I did pick up a few things I was excited about. Uh, they didn't have the Illuminators. Um, I think it was, I think it's Morbius? Or Mobi Mobius or something like that, I forget the company um, that ha makes those Illuminator kits, but they didn't have any, usually they have some. Um, but I did uh, find some other cool stuff. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is, sorry, somebody like texted me and it just flashed up. Uh, there was no way I wasn't gonna buy this. You guys know my love for aliens. And when I saw this little kit, it was like 10 bucks. It is of like a little space saucer. I had to buy it. So I guess like you guys can see there, is that upside down? I can't tell. You just kind of snap it together and there's like an LED. So it kind of like illuminates. I had to get that. So got that. Also, I've been looking for another like little project to, to paint like in my spare time just to have some fun. This one's a little dusty, it's an older piece. Uh, but what I found was a Bela Lugosi Dracula kit. This was their, um, it says Bela Lugosi as Broadway's Dracula. Um, and this one came out in 2011. Now I can't show you what this looks like. Oh yes I can, I'm sorry, it's here on the side. I didn't notice it in the store. You can see it there, because um, it didn't have it on the back. Uh, my buddy Tony has the second one of this version uh, that came out in 2012. They actually had that one in there too, but I wanted to get a different one because I've seen his and his is really cool and I didn't, I didn't want to get the same. Uh, so I kind of wanted to try this, this version of it. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to build this and paint it. Uh, I will take shots of it when it's done in a couple weeks um, and put it up on my Instagram. Uh, also, I was able to find the other new uh, Stripe Gremlins Ultimate. They had it in there, so I picked it up. So now I completed the new ones. This is the one with the chainsaw and the skateboard. Is that showing up good? There we go. Yeah, pretty cool. So I was happy to pick this one up. That's what he looks like. And then the back. So yeah, excited about that. I'll stick my stuff back here for now. And then the big piece I picked up, uh, I wasn't gonna get it, and then I thought about more about it, and I'm like, you know, if I don't get it, I'm gonna regret it like I always do, so. Um, I do have the uh, Child's Play 2 one, uh, but I wanted to get the Child's Play 3 Mezco. Uh, I guess they're called like Mezco Megas or something like that. Uh, but this is the Burnt Face Chucky. It just had a really cool look to it. I was like, ah. Eh. I do kind of like the representation of the burn face, uh, Chucky, so why not get it? And I think it does talk. 
Let's see. I love that it's Brad Dourif's voice. Okay, so that's the only three they do. But yeah, it's a cool piece. <clears throat> Looks really good. I don't plan on buying the new big one, like the movie replica. It's like 600 bucks. So I'm fine with these smaller ones. So I'll put that with the other ones that I have. But uh, yeah, let's move on. I'm gonna go to Target and then I'm gonna close the video out from there. So let's go see if they have anything new in. So we're in Target now and I don't think there's much new. The Joker. In Mego, they have Chachi, uh, Richie Cunningham. We're gonna move on here, see if I can't answer that. Samantha from Bewitched. It doesn't look like there's much new in the box stuff. So let's move over and check out the NECA section. Okay, we're over in the NECA section here now and nothing new it doesn't look like. Uh, I did pick up some things the other day and didn't film, but I grabbed the White Hot T1000. Uh, this is pretty cool. You put it in the water and it changes color. There you can see it there. And I also picked up uh, uh, the T800 the other day as well. Pretty cool. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else new. Yeah, so. Um, I do always like to look in the back, so just in case. Oh, they have two of the it's. Oh, we already have that stuff. I'll be able to pull these two. I'm glad I picked up the, uh, <clears throat> the other stripe at the comic store because they don't have that one here. They only have the other one, so. Pretty cool. All right, guys. I'll go up to the car and close out the video there. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Uh, struck out at Target, but that's okay because we did find some cool stuff at the comic book store. So uh, I'm not too uh, upset, but uh, I always like to find at least one thing at Target. I hate when I don't, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I want to say thanks, guys, for coming along on this uh, toy hunt today. And uh, I'm glad I could show you guys that new location of the other comic store, which is pretty cool. But again, I don't think it's really going to be for me. <laughs> um, but it would be a cool place to get like paints and stuff like that. So, um, other than that, yeah, I want to say thanks guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do, uh, leave this video a like and a comment and let me know what you think about the things I picked up today. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff I do. Um, I will put up a picture of the Dracula, uh, once I build it and paint it and paint it. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this content and would like to see future episodes of Horror and Me, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to keep in contact with me to see more of my content, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Horror and Me. See you guys next time.